George Vest was a United States Senator representing Missouri from 1879 to 1903. But he is best known for a closing argument that he directed to the jury on October 18, 1869. You see, Charles Burden's best hunting dog, a foxhound named Old Drum, had been killed by a man named Leonidas Hornsby, who also happened to be his neighbor, a sheep farmer, and his brother-in-law. Hornsby claimed that Old Drum had gotten loose and killed some of his sheep, but there was no evidence to prove that Old Drum had done the deed. Here's what George Vest told the jury. Gentlemen of the jury, the best friend a man has in this world may turn against him and become his enemy. His son or daughter that he has reared with loving care may prove ungrateful. Those who are nearest and dearest to us, those whom we trust with our happiness and our good name, may become traitors to their faith. The money that a man has, he may lose. It flies away from him, perhaps when he needs it the most. A man's reputation may be sacrificed in a moment of ill-considered action. The people who are prone to fall on their knees to do us honor when success is with us may be the first to throw the stone of malice when failure settles its cloud upon our heads. The one absolutely unselfish friend that a man can have in this selfish world, the one that never deserts him and the one that never proves ungrateful or treacherous, is his dog. Gentlemen of the jury, a man's dog stands by him in prosperity and in poverty, in health and in sickness. He will sleep on the cold ground where the wintry winds blow and the snow drives fiercely, if only he may be near his master's side. He will kiss the hand that has no food to offer. He will lick the wounds and sores that come in encounters with the roughness of the world. He guards the sheep of his pauper master as if he were a prince. When all other friends desert, he remains. When riches take wings and reputation falls to pieces, he is as constant in his love as the sun in its journey through the heavens. If fortune drives the master forth, an outcast in the world, friendless and homeless, the faithful dog asks no higher privilege than that of accompanying him to guard against danger, to fight against his enemies. And when the last scene of all comes, and death takes the master in its embrace, and his body is laid away in the cold ground, no matter if all other friends pursue their way, there by his graveside will the noble dog be found, his head between his paws, his eyes sad but open in alert watchfulness, faithful and true, even to death. Mr. Vest won the case and also won its appeal in the state court. A bust of Old Drum can be found in the Missouri Supreme Court building and a statue of the dog was erected on the Johnson County Courthouse lawn in 1958. Inscribed on the statue is a summation of Vest's famous speech. A man's best friend is his dog.